Hey, Yolo Rolls here, and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, as you know, this game, I think it's come out for the Switch at this point, or it's going to, I'm not entirely sure. But this is the version for the 3DS, which is the version I have. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, hello. Of course, we start out on the train. Oh, excuse me, I have a quick question for you. Okay, Rover. It's now 9.31 a.m. on April 20th, 2019, right? Yes, that's correct. Well, you're a minute off, according to my computer, but maybe you asked. Wait. Oh, I was right. Oh, good. Yeah, this game is um, connected to the time on your 3DS, on your Switch, or on your computer, depending on how you're playing it, <clears throat> which is very essential to this game. This watch of mine, it gets thrown off really easily sometimes. Because if you play with the clock on your 3DS, it will mess up the time in the game. I'm just gonna plop down in the seat across from you, if you don't mind, of course. No, I don't mind. Have a seat, please. By the way, you- Hold it! Can I ask your name? Um, I don't see why not. Confirm. Oh, Viola. Well, that's a fantastically great name. Cool, right? Cute, right? Oops, I misspoke. Yeah, such a cool name. Yeah, you seem like a pretty cool guy to me. Um, I'm not a boy. Oh, oh so you're a girl. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Assuming my gender. So, Viola, tell me, where are you headed today? Ooh, I get to... Hmm, Brooks. That's my town name. Go ahead and do that. The town of Brooks. Yep. I don't know why. Hmm. Brooks, yeah. Okay. Don't think I've heard of it. I wonder where it is. Oh, right. Map, map, map. Let's take a look along this train line. Oh, maybe this is it right here. And this will be the layout of my town. Let's see. Um. I guess that works. Uh, there are different map layouts. You can choose nope until you get one that you want, but I'm fine with this layout, I guess. I see. That's where Brooks is. So, do you get to go to Brooks very often? I've never been there. I don't remember. It's a secret. I've never been there. Oh, today is your first time? That sounds like tons of fun. Can I ask why you're headed there? I'm moving. Can't say. I'm moving. Oh, wow, is that right? That sounds pretty good to me. But you said this is your first time there, right? Does, it, does that mean you haven't even seen your house yet? I'll get a place there. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll get a place there. I'm sure they have plenty of empty houses. I see, so you're going house hunting once you get there. <laughs> I guess it'll be a lot more fun that way. I hope you find an awesome little house and have tons of fun in your happy new town. Well, thank you. Now arriving in Brooks, Brooks Station. Oh, hey, looks like we're about to arrive in Brooks. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this much. Come to think of it, I've been riding the rails an awful lot again lately. Haven't done this much traveling by train since 2002 or so. Man, that's weird. Okay, good luck, Viola. Bye-bye. I'm guessing that's a reference to the first, um... Animal Crossing game, because there is one before this one. Right, so I think there are a couple before this one. But here we are, arriving in Brookstown. And the train comes in from the right. Okay. For some reason I thought the train always went from left to right. Weird. There's my avatar. The stop is Brooks. Everyone for Brooks. Exit here. Mm -mm. Thank you, monkey conductor. And yes, I will try to give everyone voices. I'm sorry if that makes you <laughs> upset. Whoa, look who just got to town. It's totally her. Oh, right. We should say hi or something. 
Okay, everyone, here we go. Ready? And from those of us in Brooks, welcome. No, oh, thank you. Mayor, we couldn't be happier to see you arrive safe and sound. Uh, you're confused. You think I'm a mayor? Am I in the right town? Um, I think you're confused. I'm just visiting or moving here, I guess. Um... Oh, you're such a kidder. Well, a sense of humor is an important trait for an elected official to have. You said you would arrive on this train and here you are. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You can't fool me. No one else got off the train. You're a funny one, aren't you? <laughs> Hey, wait. Well, let's continue this discussion at the town hall, shall we? Here's a map of Brooks for your reference, Mayor Viola. I feel like she should have a higher pitched voice, but I can't do that right now. That flashing spot there is the town hall, so let's head that way together, shall we? Okay, I'm just gonna pocket the map. Well, let's go to town hall to talk about it. Oh god, no. Ugh, that jingle that plays when I go through doors is my town jingle. I need to change it. I don't like that. Mayor, this town hall will be your base of operations. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention I'm on staff here too. I'm Isabel, your secretary, and I'm here to help you in any way I can. But if I may be frank, I'm surprised to see someone as yourself step off the train. I mean, our former mayor, mayor held the position for many, many years and was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of fresh air, and exactly the new image our town needs. You're perfect for the job. Alright. Of course we need to get you started right away on your work as mayor. Therefore, first we must complete your resident registration. A mayor really should be a resident. See, I'm not a resident, but I'm the mayor? So, what is your name, mayor? Oh, right. Feel. Duh. Okay, I have your name. And next. Oh no, this is bad. I can't believe I completely forgot something so vitally important. In order to register you as a town resident, we need your address for the form. Yola, do you have a place to live yet? There aren't any vacant houses here, but you can build one. We really should have you decide where you're going to live before we proceed. And here I made you come all the way to the town hall for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. It's okay, Isabel. Um, on the other side of the tracks on Main Street is Nook's home, the real estate office. Ah, uh, yes, this might make more sense if you take a look at your map. See the railroad tracks at the top of the map? Head north from there to get to Main Street. Some fresh air and exercise would do you good. A trip to Main Street may be just what we both need. It'll give me a chance to stay here and continue with your registration, and you need to find Nook's homes. Once you've got a place to live, please come back here and let me know right away. Okay, we will do. Ah, hello. Welcome, welcome. You must be the new mayor, am I right? Isabel at the town hall told me to expect you. Okay. On behalf of the Brooks Chamber of Combrant, Commerce, I'm pleased to welcome you. So, Viola, you're here today because you want to build a house, yes? Very good, very good. I can build one just about anywhere you want. Yes, I can indeed. So, have you decided on where you want to live? Um, sure. Then this won't take long at all. Just take me where you want to build your new home, Viola. Yes, yes. So, you would like to build your house here. Yep, right here. Yes, yes, there's plenty of space to build a house here. And there's a space nearby for festivals and events. Hold on a moment, let's see. It look, it will look something like this. Oh, does this location suit your needs, hmm? Uh, it destroyed the rock that was near here. I don't like that, but... Oh wait, no, the rock is still there in the background, I see it. Okay, yeah, this looks good. Okay, it's decided then. It will take a bit of time to build your house, so for today, let's reserve the space for you. There we go, yes, yes, wonderful. Ta-da! And with that, this space is officially yours, Viola. Um, including the cost of the land, materials, building costs, etc, etc. 
Well, the calculation is com is complicated, so I can't come up with it just now. I'll tell you the total later. Anyway, I'm sure you're very busy since you just moved here. Once you've taken care of other things, stop by my store again to get the bill, hmm? Uh, but I suppose you still need a place to rest your head, right? Give me just a moment. Yeah, we have a tent for now. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta! I'll let you borrow this tent so you have somewhere to sleep. I've also put up a mailbox so you can even start receiving mail. It's a little shabby looking, though. I bet you rarely see a tent with a mailbox, right? <laughs> oh, Tom Nook, you're so funny. Well, I'll be returning to my shop, so let's part ways here. Viola, you need to head back to the town hall, hmm? Now that you know where you'll be living, you have to get registered as a resident, so talk to Isabel. In the meantime, I'll work out the numbers. Come by my shop again later. Thanks for your business. I do appreciate it. Yes, yes. Yeah, you might have noticed that he says yes, yes a lot. Yeah, each character has a um, catchphrase. And wow, I didn't even realize that I put my house directly next to Town Hall. Convenient. Okay. Oh, Mayor Viola, welcome back. So, did you find the perfect spot to call home? Yeah, I did. Wonderful! I'm very happy to hear that. You're in temporary housing for now, right? I do hope your house is completed soon. Living in a tent can be very tiring. Now, about your registration. I've completed as much as I can, but there's one thing I need to know. When is your birthday? My birthday is, well, exactly that. Wow. Okay. I'm guessing I got that information from my computer. So, December 4th, hmm? That's your birthday? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Please take this. Oh, well, thank you. This is your very own town pass card. It's like an ID card that proves you live in Brooks. We call it the TPC for short. Your TPC is always kept up to date with your latest profile information. Tap the person icon on the touchscreen to access it. As long as you have it on you, you can go visit other towns. Alright then. This wraps up just about everything you'll we'll need to pro process your move. Last thing we'd like you to participate is in a ceremony to commemorate your arrival. Can you take a look at the map on the touchscreen? That place with the X is the event plaza. We hold special events there every now and then. We'd like for you to plant a tree in the square so it can become a great symbol for our town. I'll lead the way, so follow me. Okay, so... Let's celebrate me being mayor, I guess. And these are my citizens. Well, some of them. Not everyone is here. So, please take this sapling. Okay, Viola, now plant the sapling by hand by pressing A. Put your heart in it. Yep, I put all my heart in that. Thank you for the applause. On April 20th, 2019, Viola became the mayor of Brooks. Mayor Viola, congratulations! I hope this tree grows just as strong and lively as Brooks. All of us are looking forward to the changes you'll make to our beloved town. Hmm, well then. The tree has been planted, so please relax for the rest of the day, Mayor. I have other tasks to attend to, so I'll head back to Town Hall. Please spend the rest of the day as you like. Look around town and greet your neighbors. And if there's something you don't understand about Brooks or you just don't know what to do, I can give helpful advice on living here at the town hall. Feel free to come and ask any time, Mayor. Good work today. Oh, well, thank you. Not about living conditions or anything like that. Um. Oh, Mayor Viola, is everything all right? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, I could give you some advice. Um, okay, sure. Okay, I can give you advice on making the most of your life here. After all, it's my job to make sure being a resident in Brooks is top-notch, Viola. However, I might need to get really detailed and talk for long periods of time. 
So, you know, it might be hard to listen to me go on and on. If you're in a hurry, hold down B and I'll be sure to talk faster. Let's see, what kind of advice would be good for you right now? Ah, come to think of it. I don't think you've gotten to know your neighbors in town well yet, have you, Viola? If you tap the arrow on the map on the lower screen, you can see their names and where their homes are. Be sure to go around and say hi to each and every one of them. It'll make living here a lot simpler. Okay, cool. Hi. Hi there, Miss Mayor. It's me, Patty. You look so cool planting that tree today. It was obvious to everyone in the event plaza that you're going to be a very dependable town leader. With your help, we can really put Brooks on the map as a cool place to live. How now? Oh, her <laughs> catchphrase is how now? Okay. But think Walker, right? Hey there, Mayor. My name's Walker. It's nice to meet you. What? Oh, his catchphrase is what? When I saw you planting that tree in the event plaza, my heart got all thumpity thumpity. You look like a mayor who knows how to have fun, well. We'll eat snacks and drink juice and be merry and stuff. Three of my favorite things. Oh, good for you. So, uh, yeah, all the um, residents have different personalities. Patty is the, I guess, overly pampered. I, I don't really know what the official titles are, but basically stuck up, sort of. Um, Walter is... Sort of the lounge around lazy type. Whose house is this? A walker. Not Walter. Walker. I'm, it's gonna take me forever to learn everybody's names. Oh, man. I'm Rob. We're gonna be big fans of each other. So, that tree you planted. When I saw you performing that ceremony, I had a thought. I thought, if this lady bro's in charge, Brooks is in good hands. We're counting on you, Viola. Make this town the strongest town around. Yeah, Ronald's the, um, athletic type. Savannah's house. I thought I saw Savannah out and about, though. Nope, never mind. If you can enter someone's house, that means that they're actually in it. Otherwise, it will say that they're out and about. Savannah. And, of course, Zebra. Mayor, I'd just like to say that you were very inspiring at the ceremony earlier. Oh, I beg your pardon. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Savannah. May I call you Viola? I look forward to getting to know you, Viola. Oh. I like your room. It's, uh, very themed. Yeah, there are themed furniture sets. I'm gonna try and go for the shiny set, but, um, it's really hard to get a full set of furniture in this game. Ah, oh, it's so warm and cozy in here. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Come in, Isabel. Wow, so exciting! Isn't it's just like you're camping, isn't it? It reminds me a lot of my childhood. Everyone would get all worked up and roast marshmallows and make popcorn over the fire. We always burn the popcorn a bit, but you know something that made it extra delicious. Oh no, I've gotten all carried away again. I'm so sorry. Anyway, Viola, I brought you something nice. Hmm, thank you. It's a lantern. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd seen one somewhere, so I searched through the storage closet at the town hall. And sure enough, it was in there. I thought it'd be perfect for you since you're sleeping in a tent. If you tap the suitcase on the lower screen, or press X, you can see what's inside your pockets. From there, select the lantern and choose display to set it in the room. Can you please get it out for me? <laughs> she wants to make sure that I use the lantern that she gave to me. Sure, I can do that. And... Display. There we go. It's not centered, but, uh, okay. You can't center it, by the way. I've tried. Yes, just like that. Next. Face the lantern and press A to turn the light on. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, super. Since it's old, I wasn't sure if it would work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. You didn't test it before bringing it over here? Oh, what else? Well, if you face the lantern and hold down A while using the move pad, it will move backwards or forwards or rotate in any direction you like. Please put it wherever you want. Oh, is it a little too bright outside to need the lantern on right now? If you don't need the lights on, just press A again to turn it off. Press Y if you want to put it back in your pockets. Well, that's all from me this time. 
Sorry to break in on you like this. I'll be taking my leave now. Thanks, Isabel. You know, I never noticed that Isabel jingles when she walks because of the, uh... I think she's wearing a collar that has a bell on it. Oh, hey. And it's now 10 a.m. and I guess Walt's up now. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, Walt's a kangaroo. Hey, you are. Hey, Mayor. I really enjoyed that tree planting ceremony. Beautiful. I got blindsided by emotion. Well, let's combine our strength and make this town a great one. Will do. You have a very nice house, by the way. Okay, I can give you advice on how to make the most of your life. Hmm. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Do you feel like you've gotten to know everyone in town now? I bet all our residents wish they could become better friends with you, Viola. If you see people from town walking around, feel free to stop them for a chat. Hmm, what else? Ah, I got it! Viola, have you ever written a letter before? Everyone in town loves letters. Even close neighbors often send letters to each other just because. We really do have a fantastic postal system, if I can boast for a moment or two. If you want to write a letter, you'll need some stationery. If you're okay with regular line paper, I have some I can give you. I want you to put it to good use. Okay, thank you for the paper. You can use letters to greet new neighbors, introduce yourself, or for any reason whatsoever. Anyone would be happy to get a handwritten letter from you. However, sometimes townsfolk get so happy they show off any old letters they get to other people. I'd advise you not to write anything you wouldn't want others to see. Just assume everyone will read it. When you want to write a letter, press X or touch the suitcase on the touchscreen to access your pockets. Select the stationery from your pockets, then choose Write a Letter. Next, choose the name of the person you're sending it to, then write the contents of the letter. After that, you can attach an item from your pockets as a present. Once your letter is ready to send, you can mail it using the post office on Main Street. I can do that. Hmm, then... Ah, I know. Viola, have you been to the beach yet? This town has two slope taking to get down to the beach. If you have a fishing rod or a wetsuit, you can fish or dive and have a lot of fun down there. It's so relaxing to just listen to the waves and walk along the beach collecting seashells. Oh, I know! If you have time, why don't the two of us go down there together right now? It'd be nice to find a seashell to take home as a souvenir of our little trip. Ugh, oh my, I should apologize. That was too bold of me, wasn't it? Really, it, it would be enough if, from time to time you press Y to quickly pick up some seashells. If you happen to go down to the beach and remember that, it would be a nice thing to do for me. Okay, let's go find a seashell for Isabel. Let's also go mail a letter, because I guess I have to do that to progress. I want to send this. Alright, I'll mail this letter off at once. Thanks for choosing the Brooks Post Office. You're welcome. Also, you might have noticed the ATM here. That will come in handy later. There we go. Oh, right, you wanted a seashell. Here you go. Um, does it matter which one I give her? I don't think it matters. Um, I guess confirm. Yeah, take this. Oh my, you actually remembered to bring me a seashell? There you go. Thank you so much. I'll put it in my room and take good care of it. That reminds me, where does Isabel live? Because I don't think we ever see her house. I think she lives in Town Hall. I think decorating a room with seashells can make for a very interesting interior design. Also, you can sell seashells at the recycle shop for a handful of bells. Viola, I'd love for you to see all sorts of different shells and find the one you like the most. Ah, oh, I know. Please take this as thanks for the seashell. She gave me... What did she give me? My mom recently sent me a box with an orange. Well, actually, she sent me three. And she specifically told me I should share them with people because that's what good puppies do. <laughs> this town is known for the apple because it's the local fruit. But my hometown is famous for the orange. I'm sharing them with you so you can eat them, sell them, plant them, or do whatever you like. By the way, if you sell them, you'll get more bells than when you sell a regular old apple. 
I hear there are people who grow a lot of rare fruits like these in order to make a nice living for themselves. Viola, why not give it a try? If you have a shovel, it's actually quite easy to plant and grow them. You can buy shovels at Timmy and Tommy's store near the entrance of the shopping district. They sell different things every day, so sometimes they might not have one in stock, of course. But if they don't, just check back another day. I'll have one soon enough. It's where I got mine. If you bring your shovel here, I can teach you how to plant trees, plus do some other nifty tricks. Nookling Junction. Yeah, everything's owned by Tom Nook. Well, except for the post office, maybe. Ah, oh, they have a shovel. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. What's this? Could it be? Could it be this is your first time in our humble establishment? Our store sells a variety of furniture and useful goods for daily living. As you can see, it's a rather teeny shop, but please relax and enjoy shopping. Take your time. How much is a shovel? Yeah, and when you're inside the shop, he will follow you around and stare very creepily at you. How much is this? Uh, a shovel? A buying item, yes. The price is... 500 bells? Are you interested in this item? Uh, not right now. Understood. Well then, please look around and examine our other wares. So many. And yes, I will call the recycle shop the retail store by accident. But yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, so we have Tommy, Timmy, and Tom Nook. This is Reese, ma'am. I have something I like to sell. Oh, hello, Timmy. What did you bring for me today? I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. Okay, I can take it off your hands for 175 bells. Or you could take your own price and put it in the back for somebody else to buy. Which would you like? Nah, that amount is completely fine, and I'd rather sell it outright. It's just something a customer brought into our shop. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Okay, understood. Thank you! With your help, we've been able to recycle and refurbish so very many things. If your customers keep bringing you items like this, feel free to come and sell them here. Of course. Well, then I'll be off. Ugh, oh, sorry to make you wait. I must take off now, but please come by my shop to chat when you get the chance. Love to see you. Wait, come by his shop. Wasn't wasn't the name of the shop owner Tommy, not Timmy? Am I confused? Probably. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Welcome to the recycle shop. Retail. Oh, that's why I call it retail, because it is called retail, but it's also called the recycle shop. Oh my, would you happen to be the new mayor? I'm so happy you decided to stop by our humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. I'll also pay a premium for any high-value items listed on the board in front of the shop. In addition to selling to us outright, you can set your own price and put items on display for others to buy. So, Mayor, if you have something you no longer need, please feel free to bring it by for a fair price. Yes, can I help you? Um, I would like to sell. I want to sell something to you. What did you bring in? Um... Much for this. Oh, and alright, I can take that item off your hand for 500 bells if that's okay. Deal. Thank you. Come back with more anytime you like. Thank you kindly for your purchase. Yes, thank you for the 500 bells. So shiny. Item? Yes. Thank you kindly for your purchase. Yes, thank you for the 500 bells. So shiny. Well, while I'm thinking about it. Um, select the shovel. Hold. I might as well show off the shovel, because you see this star spot on the ground here? Um, if you press A while standing in front of it... I've dug up some sort of fossil. I wonder what kind of fossil it is. I have to take it to the museum and get it examined right away. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind, but also, since... Hmm, is this a good place for a tree? Is it too close to the cliff? Yeah, and if you dig on the same hole, it'll cover it up. Um, let's see. I 
think planting it right about here will do. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's go select the orange that I have and select berry. Here we go. Hopefully that will grow properly. Let's see. Nope. If you're wondering what I'm doing, hopefully I can find it. Ah, oh, hey! What's this? The rock broke apart and something was inside? Yep, you can get stuff from rocks. I picked up an emerald. But that wasn't what I was looking for. Where is it? There it is. The bell rock. Nice. Yeah, rocks, for some reason, can give you bells. I don't know why, but they do. You can also get bells from trees if you shake certain ones, but um, I don't advise that you go around and shake trees randomly because you can cause beehives to fall and you can, can get hurt from that. Nice. I got so many bells. Let's see. 100... 200... 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000. Just like that, I just made 8,100 bells from a rock. Mm -hmm. Who? Who? I'm a bit of a night owl, drowsy in the daytime, you see. Welcome to the Brooks Museum. Who are you, our new mayor? I am Blathers, the director of this museum. It is my honor entirely to make your acquaintance. Our museum exhibits the very best in archaeology, the natural sciences, and art, fine and otherwise. Who, there I go again. You'll find that each time I open my beak, ten words fall out when two will do. I do apologize. I've been trying to get better, but when I have a thought that takes flight... Never mind, let me start over. Who with your words? This museum exhibits insects, fish, assessed fossils, and artwork. The reason? To make books as great as it can be. But here is our problem. We are currently exhibiting nothing. <laughs> it's a tad embarrassing. But perhaps you can help? Hooty hoo, you can. If you donate your precious finds to the museum, I will be eternally grateful, as would all of Brooks. And I do have donations. That may I be of service. Assess a fossil. So I need to assess, and you can only assess them one at a time. Luckily, I only have two right now. Actually, can I select more than one? I can select more than one. I always thought you had to do them one at a time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> All of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise! You have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope I can convince you to donate them for Brooks Cultural Development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating them. <laughs> this area has a lot of natural resources, so you can find many different kinds of fishing bugs. That's why there are so many people who have made fishing or catching or bug catching their hobby. Actually, it's more than a hobby. Everyone around here makes a lot of money catching fishing bugs. You can find fishing rods for fishing and nets for bug catching at Timmy and Tommy's store periodically. If you see them, be sure to pick them up right away. During the season, I recommend both fishing and bug catching. By the way, Viola, which do you think you'd like to try first? Well, um, I can't do bug catching because I don't have a net yet, so let's fish. In that case, why don't you use this as an opportunity to make your fishing debut? Viola, have you ever touched the book icon on the lower window to open your encyclopedia? That's where a record of all the bugs and fish you've caught will go. So, get a fishing rod and catch at least three different kinds of fish, and show me your encyclopedia. Oh, if you're finding it difficult to get your hands on a fishing rod, come back and let me know. For now, good luck! Yeah, I think if you don't have one, she lends you one to use for now, but I bought one, so... How's the fishing going? Were you able to get a fishing rod? Um, I need a fishing rod. How do I fish? Oh, you know, it's going. Check my encyclopedia. Here. Oh, of course. 
Let's see, according to your fish encyclopedia, oh, it looks like you're catching fish without any trouble whatsoever. In this town, you'll find different fish depending on the place, season, or time of day. That just means there's a lot to do all year long and new fish to find as long as you live here. I hope you have fun catching bugs with the net in the same way you enjoy catching fish. Well, I think that's about all the advice I can give you, Yula. Finally, oh my god. Finally, I'd like to give you a small present. Sort of a last welcoming gift of sorts. What is that? It's a watering can that you can use to water flowers here in town. If you give water to flowers, you see, even wilted ones will be happy and perk up again the next day. If you take good care of flowers and give them water, sometimes a new flower will bloom. And sometimes one will even bloom in a rare color. I don't know if you have an interest in gardening, but I really hope you'll use that watering can. Also, I know there are still many more things for you to learn and discover about living in this town. Just think about the advice I've given you so far and enjoy living the life you want most. I'm sure you'll figure out a lot on your own while you go about your days enjoying our town. I'll continue to be here to support you to the best of my ability. I hope I can help you for many more years to come. Me too, Isabel. By the way, take time to rest. Okay, well, I guess I can't do what I want to do until tomorrow. But would you like to donate? I want to donate one of these. Here you go. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that you're as excited for this series as I am. Um, so yeah, so basically I just wanted to put the basics all in one video so we could get that out of the way. But I don't know, water this, water it again, just because I can. And I'm gonna go around and water the rest of the plants in my um, town. So. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. If you are subscribed or you subscribe right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls, signing off. Talk to you later.